Hello, my friends. This is John Henry Sheridan, and welcome to a Thoughtful Pause series. It's been a while, and uh, I've been considering what I can bring to the table with uh, this these short videos. Um, there's so much I'm taking in, in terms of information, uh, reading books, and watching videos, and chanting, praying, and then going out and living my life, and preparing my live shows, my music, trying to learn new technologies too, as a teacher and as a content creator. <clears throat> And the message I'd like to share with you today, or the thoughtful pause I'd like to offer is the following. Be a conduit for spiritual evolution. Be a conduit for spiritual evolution. Um, so there's a few practices I have in my life. Some I would like to share in upcoming videos. One is a dream journal. Another is um, a dear universe practice, which I'll get into another time. <clears throat> but basically, I, I use my nighttime voice, or the, the sort of the pure voice that comes through me when I wake up in the middle of the night and write things down to guide my day. Uh, and I believe last night I asked the question of the universe, something along the lines of, you know, what do I make of all this craziness going on in our society right now, in our world, and a lot of sad, terrible things that are coming to light more and more. And the answer was greeting me as a bodhisattva of the earth, as a light worker, as a, uh, an indigo, all these words that are um, part of the, someone of the love revolution, the words that my, my nighttime self yeah, wrote down was all indicating that my, I have a mission here on this planet this time around, which is to help elevate the vibration of the whole planet, to help ease humanity into a uh, higher evolution. So the video is about that. <clears throat> now, as a Buddhist, we have a certain way of regarding this, um, but not everyone watching this will be a Buddhist, and nor will they, will everyone want to take on that way of thinking. But anyway, the terminology we use is Bodhisattva of the Earth. And there are many other terms that are similar, like light worker, I've heard. Um, also, uh, <clears throat> indigo or um, participant in the love revolution uh, or awakened being. You know, there are many ways of looking at it. I don't want to get caught in terminology. These are just sounds coming out of my mouth. The essence is uh, when a human being embodies a spirit to take on uh, this mortal skin for this for a lifetime, in this case, this lifetime, and kind of decide, you know, okay, I'm going to jump in with everyone else experience the sufferings of this world and use my own life as an example of how these sufferings can not only be transcended, but how they can be fuel to create an even more awake, compassionate, and wise world. Uh, one thing when I was Praying this morning, when I was chanting, I, I chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo as part of my personal practice. I'm just sharing here. Uh, not pressuring anyone to do anything. Freedom of choice is super important. 
to me, and it's it's a law of the universe as well. Um, when I was chanting this morning, the and just in recent days, the word that comes to mind is embarrassment. And I was thinking of doing a separate video about that. We'll see. I wrote a long, kind of just a list of things that I'm embarrassed by. And uh, it's kind of a poem, maybe. Um, but I realized that some, I st it started off with what are things that I'm embarrassed that maybe I've done? And what are things that I'm embarrassed about that maybe have been done to me? Then it just went on, what am I embarrassed about as uh, being an adult? What am I embarrassed about perhaps as being a father? What am I embarrassed about maybe being uh, in my family, being uh, a quote-unquote white person, right? Even though, you know, this is pretty white. This is not the same color, whatever. That's a whole other thing. Um, but what am I embarrassed about, about being a human, about being a, a technology consumer? What am I embarrassed about being American? I'm not attacking any of those things, okay? So please... Don't be, uh, don't be on the defense. This is just, I'm trying to look at all the roles that I play in this lifetime and how there's baggage, we could say karma, that comes with all of it. And I'm embarrassed about essentially the terrible things that um, humanity is capable of and has allowed to happen over our centuries, and in particular in my lifetime. But also that I've sort of not earned, that I've uh, uh, inherited. So I won't get into all that because some of it's very dark, uh, the things I'm embarrassed by. For, well, just for example, just abuse, mistreatment, uh, disrespect, for life, I'm trying to find a way to convey this message in the uh, most compassionate and wise way. Um, part part of what I feel is deep uh, sadness for not only the way humans are treated, but animals, and I mean that mainly from the food supply, the billions of animals per year that are annihilated for what um but there are many th and that, that's embarrassing to me that that's okay there, there are many things so please just hear me as a human being speaking my truth uh and what i what i'm trying to share here is that through all this the bigger picture i believe is to be a conduit for spiritual evolution. So I feel like partly I'm embarrassed my own personal experiences, but also for the whole of humanity. And I think that's important because it's coming up and humanity needs to feel these things. So all of us, you know, with, with racism and uh, disrespect for life essentially and for the planet the way we treat the planet as a human as a human race it has to be faced so I'm, I'm one who can sense these feelings uh, sensitive being there's words for it um, empath perhaps and I feel it it doesn't feel personal but it doesn't feel like it's completely not personal either, you know, because I am a human. So this, I, this, I don't want to leave this on, on a, a, a heavy note. Um, the main thing is when I determine to be a conduit for spiritual evolution, then I say, okay, this is a process that I'm just committing to be a part of. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go through this. And most important, one of the other things that I got from my higher self when I had a conversation with the universe last night, which I do virtually every night, 
was that I was thinking about people who are deeply suffering. Ask the question of the universe. What about the deeply suffering people like so-and-so or anybody who's deep in suffering? And the answer I got was... Um, it's for any of us who are here to actually be this conduit for spiritual evolution, to be a bodhisattva of the earth, or to be a um, light worker, if you will, whatever terminology you want to use, a leader of the love revolution. Um, it's really uh, our first responsibility is to take care of ourselves. That was kind of the answer I got. So yes, there's deep suffering and there will never, well, in my lifetime so far, there has never been a lack of suffering when I look around me or open my inbox, okay? Um, or mail or uh, immediate forget about it. So what I can do besides feeling like it's overwhelming better to charge myself up with positive energy. I do that by prayer, a chanting, and also by actions that I know are coming from a pure source. So the idea is that if I can purify myself and act from a pure source on a regular basis, then I can actually affect positive change. And the more of us that can do that, the more, imagine, the more pure energy is coming out into the world, certainly the better, right? We want pure water coming through our pipes. We want pure air to breathe. So if we can create pure energy, like heart energy, energy, the energy of love, the energy of I care about you, right? If we can put that out there, I care about this earth. I care about human beings. I care about children. I care about women, I care about the oppressed, I care about men, I care about cattle, uh, I care about pigs, I care about mice and insects and animals that are having their habitat taken away from them. And I care about government officials and I care about people who are dealing with a lot of stuff and people who are traumatized, who don't know how to deal with them. I care about all beings to come to the earth with that energy because we know we're just it's just a temporary thing that we hear and um, then we can see the bigger picture and allow this the sadness of the earth to flow through us and without um, taking all this overwhelming stuff that may seem negative and uh, sort of reflecting, um, what's the word, uh, deflecting it back. Um, we can transform it, maybe create art with it or, or a video like this, and then stop it there and then put out something with that energy that is of a different nature, a transformed, lighter, brighter, positive energy. And that's what I mean by being a conduit for spiritual evolution. However that shows up for you. And while you're at it, eat some fruit. Yes, okay. That's all for now. Have a wonderful day, evening. Until next time, John Henry Sheridan, signing out.